two, one. Have a safe ride. They went through a route to Puncha Alam, Simpang Tiga Jeram to Kuala Selangor, Batu Arang and back was flagged off by New Straits Times Press Malaysia Berhad CEO Datu Abdul Jalil Hamid and Eco World Foundation Chairman Tan Sri Lilam Thai at 7.41am. Also present were Eco World Development Group Berhad President and CEO Datu Chang Kim Wa and NSD Group Editor Yushaimi Maulud Yahya. According to organisers, the Cycling Challenge will be a yearly event to promote unity among the diverse races in the country and a healthy lifestyle. From some 16 countries, including teams that flew in from Singapore and Thailand, just for just for this event. So um, I think this also uh, give us the uh, the more 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 reason for us to continue this event for for next year. The first, second and third place winners for the Men's Open, Women's Open and Senior Men's Open categories received cash prizes of up to 2,500 ringgit, 1,500 ringgit and 1,000 ringgit respectively. As for the team category, the first place took home 4,500 ringgit, second place 3,500 ringgit and third place 3,000 ringgit. Go for it and, uh, and it's, it's definitely a good, good way to get you know, family to come together, do some sports, and uh, it's it's and it's also excellent for people who are actually a base runner. Uh, I ride with Amani's team, so uh, we we were almost 20 riders taking part. So uh, and this is our backyard. This is where we train because we live in Chalam. So this is of course we support this race. Aside from the cycling event, there were also food trucks, NSTP sales booths, and lucky draws offered to visitors. Other activities included appearances by comic book superheroes, old-school arcade machines, inflatable futsal pitch, as well as a juice bike where visitors can blend their own juice.